Hello fellow YouTubers, this time we'll be unboxing Crucial M4 SSD. This particular one I bought here is the slim version and the reason being is I have an Lenovo x one to one e um, netbook or notebook to know how to call it and it only accepts 7mm um, hard drives or SSD drives. I also have a Kingston SSD drive. There we go. This particular one is a desktop kit, um, see installation kit included. This drive is uh, supposed to be 7mm thick but it actually has a small little bezel that's another 2mm therefore you cannot fit it in all notebooks, netbooks or laptops. Um, so that one is of no use to me, hence I bought this particular one. Um, so let's pop it open and see what's inside. This is the SATA 6 um, series drive, um, unlike Intel, which is 3 gigabits a second. Um, mind you, Intel is much more reliable drive, and I would get that over this one anytime. However, I needed a slim drive and I need it fast and this was my best option at the time. Installation guide and the drive itself. That's all there is reading. Let's open that one up. See if it's really seven millimeters. Fingers crossed. And it seems that it is. There's no as well sticking out like on some Intel SSDs and that's basically it guys there's nothing to talk about here uh, warranty void if removed that's all um, next I'm gonna bring my Lenovo uh, netbook and we're gonna try to install it into it Surprise, surprise, this SSD drive doesn't have any software included whatsoever. Um, therefore, I can't easily migrate from H, um, hard drive disk to, the, to this SSD. I have the USB cable for this hard drive, so I can format it and do whatever I want. But, um, without proper knowledge of formatting and copying the system of the freeway, I would need to buy the software, which I don't want to do. So what I'll be doing now is I'll be installing um, the drive into the laptop and doing the whole install fresh. This is the back of this very same laptop. You need to re remove three screws here. One, two, and three. Now that it's done, you simply lift the cover up to reveal the components inside. So this is a standard hard drive. I'm going to be removing, let's see, one, two screws over there. Now that the two screws are removed, simply pull up on like that and it's removed. That two screws on each side, I have to remove that and reinstall it on the SSD drive. And we're back to SSD. The plate is now installed with two screws securing it. Okay attempt to install it into the drive bay like so and we're going to put those two screws back into there where they were before. Now the SSD is installed, screw is secured. We're going to put the back plate back on like so and I'm going to come back to you guys when everything is finished. And we're back. I'm going to do a quick boot up test on this Lenovo X121e um, Intel Core i3 Sandy Bridge Power CPU Netbook. 3, 2, 1. As you see, LED is on. There we go. Back on desktop 
and it's type already started. Quick test of the program there, Microsoft Office Word, done, Excel, done, and PowerPoint, done. Internet Explorer, which was really clumsy before I upgraded this netbook with the SSD, done, no. Shutdown speed. That's it, as quick as that. So, thanks everybody for watching. If you like the video, please uh, rate it um, or leave your comments down below if you have any questions. Unfortunately, this is not my netbook, so it will have to be returned back to the owner. I won't be able to do any benchmarks or anything like that. That's as far as I'll go in terms of benchmarking it. And thanks everybody for watching. Have a nice day.